Welcome back guys, it's Connor again. Um, today I'm back with my third selection for the Cheltenham Festival. Um, if you yet to watch my uh, previous two tips, go and check those out. So my tip today is going to be in the Ballymore, again on the Wednesday. I don't know why all three of my tips have transpired that they're all running on the Wednesday. Um, so let's hope for a super day that day. I was just looking at the Ballymore market today and you've got the three co-favourites, shall we say. Um, Galliard, Dumanil, Bob Ollinger and uh, Brave Man's Game. Um, below that there seems to be horses which are going elsewhere. Um, they won't be turning up here. You know, the likes of Blue Lord, Appreciate It. Um, they would both be going to the Supreme. And then going de uh, further down in the market, a lot of horses that aren't on these horses level. I think these three horses are well clear of the rest. I think it is a free horse race and it's just about picking the right one. Um, they're definitely closely matched. But I think there's one deciding factor going into Cheltenham. I think one of the horses has an edge over the other two. I'll talk about that edge in a little while. Um, I'm actually really looking forward to the Ballymore this year. You know, the last two races, um, additions of the race, uh, seem to be sewn up before we've even got to the Tuesday of the festival, with Sam Crow and M. Violin both winning it with ease. Um, this year is actually going to be a competitive race. I think it could be one of the races of the festival. You know, you've got three young, uh, cracking novice hurdlers. I think actually they're all going to make really good novice chases too next year. So if I start with the favourite, Galliard du Menil, um, this horse was super impressive at Christmas, uh, when, when basically on the bridle, um, travelled really sweetly. Um, next time out of the Dublin Racing Festival for two mile six furlongs on heavy ground. Um, very impressive again, uh, like this performance, although I did think it was more of a same performance. I think he'd more of an Albert Bartlett horse than he would a Ballymore horse. Uh, Statler was leading and for a couple of strides he looked like he was getting the better of Galliard du Menil. It didn't look as if the turn of foot was there immediately when Town End asked for it and that's not you not what you want in a Ballymore. I think he's more of a stayer. That could that could actually just be down to the ground was quite heavy that day. Not particularly enjoying that. Um but to me that did look like a stay in performance. Um secondly I mentioned Brave Man's game for Paul Nichols. Um Liked his first debut effort over hurdles against Sora and Glory at Chepstow. Uh, that horse has come out this weekend and won the Betfair hurdle, albeit off a relatively low mark. Um, followed up next time out. Um, went to the Challow then. That was a visually taken performance at Newbury. Um, although nothing really challenged him, uh, two of his rivals fell mid-race. And two of them sort of in contention approaching the last, but none of them were able to lay a glove on him, doing his best work towards the line. I'd also like to mention uh, shallow, shallow uh, winners don't have a particularly good record in the Ballymore, but that's not something I'd pay particular uh, significance in. Next season, there's no doubt the Brave Man's game will be running in the RSA. I think the same can be said for Galliard Dumanil. He definitely looks like a stayer to me. So that brings me on to my tip for the race. And if you haven't guessed yet, I am going to be back in uh, Henry de Bombhead's uh, Bob Ollinger. Going back to that significant edge that I think the horse had over the other two is his turn of foot. Um, do I believe that Brave Man's Game and Galliard du Menil would be able to live with Fernie Hollow over two miles? No, I don't. Um, we see how impressive his turn of foot was last year in the champion bumper. And the fact that Bob Ollinger was able to live with him on his hurdles debut over two miles uh, speaks volumes. When winning the Lawless of Nason of his hurdle this year, I thought Bob Ollinger displayed um, the right attributes that's needed to win the Ballymore in speed and stamina. You know, Nace is a stiff track. He's got an uphill finish. Uh, not quite as severe as the Cheltenham Hill, but I thought he saw it out well. Blue Lord in second that day, yeah, he was keen. But he backed that up with a good run behind Appreciator at the Dublin Racing Festival. Um, that race at Nace, that is also the stepping stone that M. Voilen used last year uh, when he went and won the Ballymore at Cheltenham. I think he's perfectly suited to the race, whereas I think the other two are stayers. I think he has similarities to a lot of previous Ballymore winners. Um, if you look back, M. Violin, Sam Crow, York Hill, Forheen, the new one. Uh, these are all strong travelling horses with a turn of foot. Um, I think the blend of speed and stamina in the race is perfect for him. 
I think he could go to the Supreme and be more than competitive there as well. I think he could put it up to appreciate it. By no means do I think that other two at the head of the market um, are slow horses. Um, they've been super impressive so far. I just think whichever way the race pans out, if it's slowly run, if it's fast run, they're both going to suit Bob Ollinger. Whereas if they were slowly run, I don't think they'd suit the other two horses. As previously mentioned, I do think the Ballymore lacks depth this year. I definitely feel as if it's between the top three in the market. I think these horses are head and shoulders above the rest. Um, it is going to cut up. I'm not sure if it's going to be that big of a field either. Um, there's not much between the front three. I just feel like Bob Ollinger has the edge in speed. Uh, nine to two is a decent enough price now. You know, I'm happy to play at those odds in what I essentially view as a free horse race. So that is going to be it from me today, guys. That is my third tip for Cheltenham done and dusted. I hope you've enjoyed my video once again. Um, if you have enjoyed it, if you give me a thumbs up, I'd more than take that. I'd also greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe. It helps me a lot. Um, let's hope for a bumper day on the Wednesday.